Epilepsy is an expensive condition, but why? It's not a lot more expensive to treat than other chronic medical conditions. And the majority of people with epilepsy have their seizures well controlled on medications. However, epilepsy is still very costly to society. Unlike many other common diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease that tend to increase in occurrence as people age, epilepsy can affect people at any time throughout their life. This includes affecting people of working age. By preventing people from working, epilepsy ends up indirectly being extremely costly to the society. Through our life table economic modeling, among those aged 15 to 69 years of age and followed up until 70, we found that compared to those without epilepsy in society, those with epilepsy experienced $32.4 billion more. How can the cost be brought down for epilepsy? Our health economic model showed that modest improvements in seizure freedom may result in substantial reduction in the cost of epilepsy. This is mainly by improving people's ability to work, both in terms of working more productively and in terms of allowing them to spend more years in a workforce. Increasing seizure freedom by 10% could translate to retaining an additional 7.8 billion in the economy over the working lifetime of Australians with epilepsy. But what would that mean for individuals with epilepsy? Better treatment, improved quality of life? To achieve 10% improvement in seizure freedom in Australia, people with epilepsy need access to the best possible care. Currently, we have world-class epilepsy centres in major Australian cities. In these epilepsy centres, epilepsy specialists are able to provide fast and accurate diagnosis, modify treatment, and offer specialised epilepsy surgery or device implantation if needed. However, there may be long delays in misdiagnosis of epilepsy in the community particularly for seizures that present in an atypical or complex manner. And on average, Australians with drug-resistant epilepsy wait 10 to 20 years before they are finally linked in to these services. In addition, there may be long delays for an epilepsy diagnosis in the community. There needs to be streamlined pathways to get people with epilepsy into these specialised centres to allow for optimal care and seizure control.